Ange, would you please get your stuff off my desk? It's not on your desk. Yes, it is. Gosh. It's clearly on my side of the line. You are the worst neighbor ever. Sorry. Hey, you should do this for Book of the Month. I think you'd really like it. Oh, okay, maybe. I'll check it out. Cool. All right, cool, thanks. No problem. I wasn't sure about the Jane Austen handbook at first, but when I came to the chapter on how to be known as a valuable neighbor, my opinion began to change. Hey, so a bunch of us are going out uh, for happy hour after work. Do you want to come? Soon, I found myself looking to this book for advice on, well, just about everything. Uh, it's okay. You can do it. Um, you do it another time. I had begun to dislike the impersonal character of electronic male in favor of the nostalgia and romance of letter writing. esteemed author, Ms. Sullivan, and Jane Austen herself, I now had the confidence to act as a good neighbor to my dear friend, Richard. Hello, operator. Operator, hello. <coughs> hello. Pardon, sir. Hello, operator. Sir, may what? I speak to you? Why are you wearing... I hope that the good opinion of a deskmate once lost is not lost forever. Therefore, if I have caused you any headache, I have brought you a remedy from the apothecary. Oh, thanks, Ange. But uh, why are you wearing a bonnet? For the Jane Austen handbook, I am forever fortunate. For the blue-stocking individual with the greatest thirst for a robust life, I recommend 